Hi, I'm Spider-Man, your friendly neighborhood spider. Why would you even call yourself Spider-Man? I hate spiders. One, you're clearly half a spider. And two, you're definitely not even old enough to drink, let alone drive or flirt with girls over 18. So you definitely can't call yourself a man. Am I right? Look at him. I'm sure even his itsy bit to spider down there isn't fully grown. <laughs> So, oh, you say you're the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? <coughs> this is exactly why I hate spiders. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to the Ken O oh, We channel. Finally, after much delay, I finally get to talk about the SH figure arts. Iron Spider. Is this pretty much just a repaint of the previous figure? Let's find out together. But first, starting with the box. You have his face plastered at the front of the box, cool pose on the side with nothing much on the other, and at the back you got the usual cool pose highlights. And yes, it is confirmed that he does come with the spider legs, which we'll talk about further in the accessory portion. But I'll admit that I was wrong when I said in my earlier video that they didn't provide it. Turns out they were trolling everyone and they were keeping it a secret, so you got me good there Bandai. Fool me once, shame on me. Never again. I'm really curious about Captain America now. Hmm. Anyway, let's go catch a spider. And here is the ironclad spider out of the box. And again, I'll admit that I was wrong about this figure just being a repaint. Putting the previous figure next to him, his head is much smaller which makes the previous figure look like he's got an elongated head. Arms are slightly thicker, finally worked out them biceps huh? and he has a broader chest, but the Iron Spider is much shorter than the previous figure, which I thought the previous figure was short already, but build wise it looks a little more proportionate at least for me. For the colors they used a really dark shade of red and blue, but unfortunately there's barely any shine on it. Where's that Tony Stark metallic finish? The funny thing is that the previous figure had more shine than the Iron Spider figure, so the shine code is totally reversed, which is odd to me, but again this isn't a major gripe, but it is a key feature that makes this an armor rather than just a plain suit. Even the plain suit spidey eyes are shinier than the iron spider eyes. What is going on? The only metallic finish is on his gold paint, which again, I'm guessing Bandai likes to have highlights on their figures instead of having it all metallic, but for this instance you're sacrificing its likeness to the movies. Even the Marvel Legends figure which has a little bit of shine stands out a lot more than the SHF figure. But if you can overlook that issue, which could be an extremely minor or major issue depending on you, as with the previous figure, it is still a well sculpted, well painted Spider-Man figure. Oh, and one more thing, they still kept that thong design. Let me see that thong, 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 thong. Moving along to his articulation, head and neck all together can look up pretty far and look down pretty far as well, left and right. Side to side pivot, no problem. Butterfly joint which can move outwards pretty far, up and down and pretty much move around. Arm can do the 360. No bicep swivel as always, so arm swivel instead, bicep flex, wrist 360 and move up and down, mid and lower ab cut so twisting at the middle and at the bottom, side to side pivot and all together he can crunch pretty far and arch backwards a little. Legs as always can go as far as 360 so no need to mention kicking up or back, split of course no problem for the spider, thigh swivel, knee flex, feet move up and down pivot and spidey toes. Moving on to his accessories, he comes equipped with fist punching hands, the spider shooting hands, call me maybe hands, wall crawling hands and hands to hold the web effect and for the webs he also comes with a premature ejaculated web, a fully ejaculated web which you can attach them by removing his hands and placing the webs over and one long string of web which can be held by the hands shown earlier. You have the usual pack to be packed into the stand if you have one end to pack into Spider-Man, simply pull this panel piece out and pack that to the back. I've tried using the school bag accessory from the previous figure and it can sling over but it can't be packed in unfortunately. And of course, it comes with this little plastic piece so you could push the eyes out for his interchangeable eyes and it comes equipped with the normal eyes the slightly squinted eyes and the totally squinted eyes and towards the main accessory. 
the iron spider legs yes extremely sad to say that for my package this leg was broken fresh out of the package i'm okay no really I've been crying for hours since this happened, so I'm all dried out of tears now. But it's all good, because this goes to show you how fragile these legs are. So as you can see, if the sides of the pins break off, you'd be shot off one leg. So please play with caution whenever you're articulating these legs. And you have been warned. Personally, I would prefer to have metal pins instead, but it'll probably bump the cost of this figure. But aside from the broken leg, it is very nicely sculpted. And of course, this is a much appreciated accessory since we didn't get one from the Legends figure, but I still wish it was a lot sturdier. And here is the shorty spider standing next to his other companions. So, in summary, aside from the missing shine on his armor, I still really love this figure, despite the broken legs. I would've loved it a whole lot more if it isn't broken. But it still doesn't take away the fact that this is an extremely poseable Spider-Man figure with plenty of accessories and it does look slightly more proportionate than the predecessor, so I was pleasantly surprised with this figure. That concludes my review of the SH figure at Iron Spider. For those who are still curious about the giveaway, yes it is still on and I'll be announcing it at the end of my Toy Story Chogokin review. which is coming up soon. I do apologize for the delay, I've been extremely busy lately and it's just taking a lot of my time so I hope you guys can understand that and I thank you all for your understanding and patience. I hope you guys still enjoyed this review, if you did please help leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you go for this or the legend spider? I'd like to hear your thoughts and as always, thank you guys very much for watching, I truly appreciate it and hope you guys are embracing your inner geek and having a great week. Take care, stay awesome and I'll see you guys at the next video. <laughs>